Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 150. I'm going to try and make this quick and do this in one take because I want to get it done before we got to get the bunny out. So, a couple things to show you and one thing that I had to put on hold. The thing I had to put on hold was my sweater. Uh, <laughs> for no other reason than I really need to get the project bag made for me to carry it in because what I'm carrying it in is getting too small and I took it to work with me Thursday night. I went to take it out of the bag and one of the tip protectors had slid off and a couple of the stitches slid with it. Thankfully, it was on the end that I were the, you know, the end of the row, so I was able to slide them back on and fix it. If it had gotten into the lace work, we might have had a different story there. So I'm erring on the side of caution. And until I get my project back made, which is going to definitely be, if not during the course of the next couple mornings, by this weekend, it's definitely got to get done. So I can take my sweater to work with me again. But I did finally, I sat down and I chose the fabric that's going to be used for the main part of the bag to go with the Maxine fabric. And now I just have to choose what I'm going to use for the lining and the handles, get it all cut and set to go and then sew it so I'm thinking maybe tomorrow morning come home set the card table up get the pieces cut for the lining make sure everything is squared up properly and then get things cut for the handles and come home maybe Thursday morning and get this thing sewed together so sweater on hold for now but that <laughs> it's not going to get done by the end of the month not a big deal so that's okay my Christmas in July project is not going to be as big as I wanted it to be. I made one of the pieces to it. It took a little bit of time, and I'm looking at it saying now, because of the way it's got to go together, I kind of have to finagle something or do it the way they say to do it, and I really didn't want to do it that way, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. But it came out looking pretty neat so far. So it's not going to be as big as I wanted it to be. But that's okay. Um, I'm just going to add to it as I go along during the course of the year. But I do need the corks because those will be easy. Cork and ease are quick and easy. It's just the little embellishments on them. So, I mentioned and I showed socks that I started. Um, this is done with that beautiful yarn that Miss Oaf and Jen sent me. I did complete them, except of course... <laughs> Weaving in the ends, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the pattern to them. They're soft. This yarn is absolutely gorgeous. So now it's just sewing in the ends and taking pictures, and I will have another wonderful pair of socks to wear. And I can't even tell you, since learning how to do the Fish Lips Kiss Heel, how many pairs of socks I've made. Several, I'm sure. But yeah, love that pattern. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> now I can make socks and have a lot of fun doing it. So there's my socks. They're done. Next up, uh, I finished those Wednesday night at work. I took my sweater Thursday night. Friday night, didn't really do much of anything. I found out I was going to be on my own at work that night. So I didn't think to bring anything with me, but I did have in my bag the baggie with the embroidery floss in it from doing the friendship bracelet I showed last week. So in between the little bit of time I had to sit and relax because like I said when you're on your own I'm doing twice the work so it was twice the amount of time doing rounds and so on. Uh, just started messing with it a little bit. Finished this Saturday night at work and here's the bracelet. I don't know how well you can see it because the the thread is so light but I do believe the pattern has something to do with like fish pattern or something you can see it uh, hmm. we'll show you the little the yellow right there it's probably the best one to see it with but that's the pattern I did I didn't have a pattern with me I just started messing around and said oh, let's see what happens when I do this so but I'm looking at it and I do believe I've seen that pattern so my daughter saw it and she wanted one. So Sunday night at work, she had chose the colors she want and I made her this one. And hers is really neat. I like the way, you know, the colors transition and you really see a lot of different colors, but 
I thought it came out really neat, so now she has one herself. So there's two friendship bracelets done. And I will continue to just carry different uh, floss with me. So if I have a little bit of time and I don't want to knit or crochet or whatever anymore for the night, I can start working on one of those. Which my daughter and I took a trip to Walmart yesterday and I did purchase a bag of floss that has a lot of really neat tie-dye flosses in it. So I don't know how that's going to work for a friendship bracelet, but... I'll give it a test run, and we'll see what happens. Uh, started another project. <coughs> Since I can't take my sweater to work with me right now, we were at Walmart's, like I said, and I saw this absolutely gorgeous yarn. It is the whoops, Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable is the yarn, and the color that I chose was Echo, and this is it right here. It's got purple, almost like a dark gray, a kind of silvery gray, a green, absolutely beautiful colors in it. I chose that, and the pattern I chose, because I specifically went on Ravelry, I put in the weight of the yarn, the yardage that I had, and specifically pulled up just shawl patterns. And the one I chose is called Old Flames. Um, I will be sure to try and remember to put a link in the description. This is really easy. Um, it's a very easy pattern. It's, I do believe she called it like a flame point pattern or something. I don't know, but this is it so far. I am working on the second repeat of the pattern. There's 24 rows total. Then you repeat those 24 rows, and then you repeat 11 rows, a couple rows of just straight knitting, and then, you know, because it's got like a garter stitch along the edging. So, really neat, and it's so soft, and I'm looking at it for just a neck scarf, not a shawl itself, like I did with my, uh, what do you call it, dragonfly wings. So, there's that. And while we were out yesterday at the dollar store, I picked up some a package of index cards. That's There's five different colors. I picked up two of the small things of holders, index card holders. And what I'm going to start doing, like I did with this, writing it out onto some index cards. And I'm going to keep them in there along with sock patterns, dishcloth patterns, things of that nature. So that if I want to do something, I can just take the cards out, carry them with me, and that will keep them nice and protected. Because I have a lot of small patterns written on little pieces of paper here and there that really can fit on index cards. So bought a couple of those. I don't know if I'm going to combine the knit and crochet or if I'm going to do one specifically knit and, and the other one specifically crocheting. But I figured that out. Uh, I was really hoping that my yarn would have arrived from Hirschner's. I do believe it's probably out for delivery today. But of course, <laughs> it wouldn't show up before I did my video. But that's all right. If it does show up before I get this edited and uploaded this evening, Depending on the light, maybe I'll record it real quick later. Otherwise, that'll be a whole separate video, or I'll just tack it on the next week. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else to show you. My little handy-dandy book that I'm writing things in came in handy because I can go through and say, okay, what do I have to show this week? And that's when I remembered my socks. So, <laughs> anyway... That's it for me. Um, I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope everyone has a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. As for me, I'm out. I'm going to go get some rest. As for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week. Bye!